Should acupuncture be available on the NHS? In its latest guidance on back pain, the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence has approved the treatment, along with other therapies such as spinal manipulation as performed by chiropractors. If you're not keen on pictures of needles like these, you may need to look away during Harry Amscombe's report. Well, I'm joined now by George Lewis, Professor of Complementary Medicine at the University of Southampton, and David Cahoon, Professor of Pharmacology at University College London. Professor Cahoon, is this the right decision to allow acupuncture on the NHS? I'm afraid that NICE have really messed it up this time. They, they, they're standard of assessment of the evidence was quite uncharacteristically bad, I'm afraid. But they say they looked at more than 140 studies. You have to look at who looked at them. The, the, the panel that did it was very heavily biased, actually, towards uh, manipulative people. But this is actually not the main point. And the first point to make, which isn't actually made by them, is that m most of the treatments don't work well at all. If, they, if any of them worked, and that includes drugs, I might say. I'm not particularly biased in this matter. If any of them worked, it wouldn't be such a big problem. So drugs nobody... have been agreed on the NHS. What about acupuncture and other therapies that up until now haven't? Do you agree that they should be paid for by the NHS to treat back pain? None of them work very well, but no, I don't agree. And the reason is that they work no better than manipulation or exercise by a physiotherapist, manipulation by a physiotherapist or exercise. But along with acupuncture, you get a whole pile of mystic garbage coming in, which, which we just don't need. And it's not necessary because the... Um, the physiotherapists and exercise work just as well as the acupuncture. So it's really, uh, I'm afraid, just a sort of sop to, to people who like mystical medicine. Uh, Professor Lewis, Hi. mystic garbage? <laughs> Not really, no, no. Um, I mean, the Germans and the British feel that acupuncture offers a good cost-effective intervention for back pain and for a number of other conditions in Germany as well. They're available on the health insurance schemes. They're there because there's good evidence. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't much mystic garbage in the uh, approaches we use. It's a very westernized acupuncture approach, so it's good value for money. It's safe, doesn't have the adverse reactions that uh, uh, drugs do, and two large um, insurance, insurance environments or health providers in, the, in Europe have said, yeah, let's give it a go. The evidence is good. Let's, let's provide it. But haven't some other studies said that um, um, using acupuncture has no more beneficial effect than those who are actually getting a pretend form of the treatment? Well, we don't have a good pretend form of acupuncture treatment. We well, don't there was one study we, we, in we, Seattle we, that used toothpicks. We don't really know what 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 to do as a placebo but we do know that whenever we use acupuncture we get a much better effect than with standard conventional care and Professor that it's Kuhn, cost effective. You're, you're shaking your head what's your response to that? It's not much better it's a bit better it's barely clinically significant in most of the studies of course if you compare acupuncture with no acupuncture then there's a, a, a little bit of extra effect not, not very much in most cases and it's not blind of course so it's it, probably just a theatrical placebo. But more important, if you compare the acupuncture with the sham, they always come out the same. And what that means with all this stuff about meridians and energy flow is so much hocus pocus. But anecdotally, people will say that acupuncture works for them. We heard from that woman in Harry's report there. Anecdotally, people say all sorts of funny things work. They say crystals. <laughs> you can find people who say crystals heal them and, and all sorts of stuff. The point is that back pain is terribly variable. I, I, I have it myself, I know. And, and of course, if you take a treatment, you tend to take it when you're at your worst. Uh, when you're at your worst, there's only one way you go. You get better, or maybe you die, but that's not very common. So it's almost impossible not to attribute that fact, which is simply a spontaneous fluctuation, to the fact that you've, you've had some treatment or other. It doesn't, same effect works whether it's acupuncture or, or, or pills. Lewis, do you want to come in there, well, clinical trials are designed to work that out. I mean, clinical trials are designed to uh, exclude that sort of bias. The reality is very simple. We don't have a good placebo like we don't have a good placebo for other physical interventions like surgery. We can demonstrate that acupuncture is literally twice as effective as conventional hey, Professor, on that note, I'm afraid, I know you want to come back, but I'm afraid we're running out of time. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in. Well, done, well it's all...